everyone, I'm Heva and welcome back to my channel. Today I've got a favorites video for you guys and it's for the month of February. And yes, we are already in March. I cannot believe it. Just just actually about what two, three days ago, our son Luke, he, he calls us and he says, yeah, I'll be home for spring break and we can celebrate my 21st birthday. And it just dawned on me like, wow, your birthday's next week. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> wow, almost let that one slip by. <laughs> Sorry, Luke. <laughs> but no, we would never forget your birthday. But I just can't believe that it's just here. And it's finally warming up here in, in North Texas. And when I say warming up, it's it's like in the 60s. Because it's been really chilly here for the past couple weeks. And cold and rainy and cloudy. So yes, it's almost springtime. And don't forget to move your clocks ahead one hour. I believe that's March 11th, so don't forget that. We lose a sleep. We spring forward, so we lose an hour of sleep. Okay, now back to the favorites. Now this month, for the month of February, I don't have that many favorites for you guys. I know it's a short month, and it's, what, only short by three days, but it is a short month. And I've been trying out new products, and I feel that I haven't tested them out long enough to see if I really like it. So I just have a few items here for you guys and maybe another special guest. We'll see about that one. <laughs> but well, let's get to the first item here. And I just did a video on this. This is the Positions Formula, the Healthy Foundation. And I'm really liking this foundation. I've been trying it out for the month of February, probably about the first week into February. And I'm really enjoying this foundation. It is really working on my mature skin. <laughs> but anywho, so I have two shades here and I bought them at Ulta for $12.99 or $12.95, something like that. I'll list everything down below. And they had a buy one, get one half off. So that's when I bought it. And I bought them in the shades MN4 and DW2. MN4 Medium Neutral 4 and Dark Warm 2. I always forget this one. <laughs> but I, I did a video on this, a wear test and review, and I'll also link that video down below. And it dawned on me that I didn't mix the two foundations together as I was editing the film, the, the video. It's like, oh God, okay. So I thought for this video, I did mix these two shades together. And I think it's working out you know, really well. So again, this has been my favorite and I think I'll be wearing this one a lot. I've got other foundations to test, but I think I'm really, really loving this drugstore foundation. Now the next item here I have, it is by Sunday Riley and it is the Blue Moon Tranquility Cleansing Balm. And as you can see, I've finished about half of it already. And it smells so good. You can smell the blue tansy that's in here. But when I finished my Eve Long Cleansing Balm, and that's going to be in my empties video coming up next, hopefully next. And I bought this during the Sephora VIB sale. And, you know, I wanted to try other cleansing balms. And I still, I still like the Eve Long and the Calling Rothschild Cleansing Balm. But I think this one is kind of inching up there, right up there. You get 3.5 ounce and it sells for $50. So I bought it for $40 on sale. Again, I tend to try to buy things on sale unless I really need the item. And I've waited and waited and it still hasn't gone on sale. So then I'll get it. And of course, right when that happens, it goes on sale. <laughs> so when I tried this, you know, I opened it up and it is a blue color, real pretty, sea tranquility blue. Now it is a sugar based cleanser, so you can kind of feel the sugar that's in there and you could really see the makeup coming off in the sink. Now, the only thing I do have, you know, just a slight gripe about this one that it does not come with a cleansing cloth. My Eve Loam and the Colleen Throthchild uh, cleansing balm does come with a uh, cloth. So even though this does not come with a cleansing cloth, I just use the one that I have from Yves Long, 
and this has really taken off my makeup and it doesn't leave that oily film in my eyes I mean I don't know if that's happened to you or I'm doing it wrong but that has happened to me but I don't feel it with this one and it smells really good it smells really good that blue tansy again just mm. I think it kind of cleanse a little bit better than my Eve Long cleanser but I'll still use that one but because I have maybe one or two travel size jars of that left but this one's coming up right up there I really do enjoy this now this one you get 3.4 ounce and it sells for $50 the Eve Loam cleansing balm it is it has 3.3 ounce and it sells for $80 so this one does come off a little bit cheaper and I could just use the cleansing cloth from the Eve Long. All right, the next item here, it is by Glytone and it is the Exfoliating Body Lotion. This one, I have really seen a difference in my arms. I put this one on my arms. I finished the Glycolics one and that one had, I believe, 15% glycolic acid. This one has 17.5% glycolic acid. And I've been using this on my arms and I have really seen a difference. I have really seen a difference in the texture of my arms. Again, this one has 17.5%. It says free glycolic acid and it also has vitamin E in there. And what the glycolic acid does is that it removes the dead skin cells and it softens the rough texture, you know, especially in, in the elbows. And I have really seen a difference in my crepiness in the skin. Now, this lotion right here, it is a really thick lotion. And what I do is I'll pump one pump in my hands and rub it on my arms. And it is a really thick lotion. I mean, you're gonna get a workout rubbing the this lotion on your arms you really will and it does tingle a little bit when you first start it out and I would recommend gradually increasing it every week you know maybe use it twice a week and then gradually you know up the dosage up the dosage up the many times a week you want to you can your skin can handle it and it does sometimes feel it's so wet on your arms and it may stick to some clothing, so you really have to work it in there. Again, you're gonna get some arm muscles <laughs> working this lotion into the arms. And I don't put it on my legs that much. I probably should, just to see what it'll look like. But I shave my legs, and you really don't wanna put glycolic lotion on the shaved areas because that will sting. That will sting. <laughs> So, yeah, try to avoid the shaved areas when you use this lotion. Under the arms, ouch, that would sting. But again, I have really seen a difference in the texture of my arms. And you also need to watch out if you have hairy arms. I mean, I have hair on my arms and it does, you know, it will mat it out. So you need to be careful with that. I really like this lotion and I will be getting more of this. You get 8.4 ounce. No, yeah. You get 8.4 full ounce in here and it costs $43. And again, I did get it when it was on sale. You can find it on lovelyskin.com or dermstore.com on their websites. And they periodically will have it on sale. So I will be getting another one of this when I see it next time on sale. All right, the next item here, it is a tool and it is a jade roller. And I know you're probably thinking, Oh, a tool, you're just throwing your money out. <laughs> just here, take my money. But no, I have really enjoyed using this. Now, I do have sinuses, you know, sinus problems, and, and I'll get an occasional sinus headache, especially right here behind this eye. Mm. And I really do feel that this has helped kind of relieve the pressure. And of course, you know that jade is a healing stone. It's a symbol of uh, tranquility. And it comes, you know, two sizes, two ends here. And I'll use this one over my eyes and the big one, you know, away from my nose and also up my jawline. And I'll put a video of me demonstrating how I use this. I'll use the big one, you know, to go over my forehead to help 
with the sinuses, with the sinus headache, and also away from my nose, outside of, you know, going out away from my nose, that helps with my sinuses, and then also up from my jawline, you know, just, you know, just to give it some blood circulation and maybe tone, and it will also help with after you put your moisturizers, your serums, your moisturizers, this can kind of help, you know, push it in the skin, I guess you could say. But I find that this is more beneficial for me with my sinuses. And I have been really enjoying this. And again, you can find it at Amazon, you can find it at Derm Store, you can find it at Nordstrom. Just, you know, just make sure it's from a reputable seller so it is real jade. Okay, now the next thing that has been my favorite, I'm going to go and get her. I'll be right back. So, okay, I got her and I had to go outside and get her and it's humid outside and just in the short amount of time I got her, my hair poofed up. <laughs> okay, can you see her? There she is. Okay, here she is. Meet the newest member of our family. Oh, she's just so cute. Look at that. She's just the sweetest thing. We found her in our backyard. I believe it was around Thanksgiving time. And she was just a skinny, weak little thing. And, you know, I saw her in one of the chairs in the backyard. And I, I thought, what is that? It's not Oliver. And if you've watched my videos, you've seen Oliver. He's our orange and white cat. I'll put a picture up here so you can kind of see who Oliver is. And Oliver's our... Our cat, he's almost 15 years old. We've had him since birth. I thought, well, that's not Oliver. So we saw her out there, and usually stray cats, you know, they typically hide and, you know, kind of jump and jittery away from us. Because we get a lot of, unfortunately, we do get a lot of stray animals here. You know, like I said, she was just a weak thing. She didn't move, so we gave her some food, and she just attacked that food like there was no tomorrow. And I'll put a video of her the first time that we fed her. This is the second handful. She's nothing but skin and bones. Look how fast she's eating. Anybody want a kitten? So then, of course, you know, you feed a cat, they're going to stay around. But she is just the sweetest thing. Every time we go outside, she'll follow us and she'll rub up against our leg and lick our feet, which was kind of like a shock to us. Oh, you're falling asleep. Look at that. She's just so cute. So we decided this month, okay, I think we're gonna keep her. So we took her to the vet and got her shots and they took some blood from her. They shaved her neck right here and took some blood and she's not chipped, so she's just a stray cat that found us, I guess you could say. Now her and Oliver do not play well together. No, it's like a two person job, maybe three, trying to keep them apart. <laughs> you know, Oliver will be inside and she's outside and now she's starting to come inside now and we need to make sure that Oliver's not inside when she's inside. <laughs> so we're always on our toes to figure out, okay, who's in the house now? <laughs> but when, when she's in the backyard and Oliver wants to go in the backyard, she kind of knows her place. She knows that he's, he's the king of the house. And she's the little princess. <laughs> yeah, look at that. Look at that. Kiki, kiki, oh. <laughs> Aww. And she'll grab our hand and lick us. I mean, not to bite us, but to lick us. And I, I have this video. I have to show it to you. I have this video. And, you know, she'll come and snuggle up right to us. Oh, you're licking yourself now. Oh, <laughs> okay. She wants to keep licking me. And, you know, when we took her to the vet, they think that she's probably a year old, year and a half. And, <laughs> and she's not chipped, so she doesn't belong to anybody. I have now cat hair all over my face. Oh, there you go, here. 
So this one at least is a short-haired cat, whereas Oliver is a long-haired cat. He's a fluffy cat. So we've been thinking of names, and our son Luke thought of the name Artemis, because I believe it's the goddess of hunting, because she brought us mice, which Oliver does that too, but I think she was just very grateful that we fed her. And then we thought of something with Egypt, you know, something to do with Egypt. Because we do have a, we did have a cat. Her name was Cleo, short for Cleopatra. And one of our family members named their cat Cairo. And another family named, I think, a dog Ramses. So, you know, because we are from Egypt, so we kind of, you know, need to throw that in there. <laughs> her tail kind of gets into a shape of a question mark. So we were even thinking of naming her who or what, when. <laughs> How? But then we figured that'd be an Abbott and Costello routine. You know, who's on first? <laughs> Where's the cat? Who's the cat? <laughs> okay, I need to fix my hair. Ugh, this humidity. Just from that short amount of time we were in there. So then we thought of this name. I don't know if you are the Big Bang Theory fan, but we are. And there's an episode when Sheldon has all these cats and he starts naming all these scientists names. And the very last name that he said, this one's named Zazzles because he's so zazzy, you know? <laughs> so we thought, I think that'd be a perfect name for this cat. Here, I'm going to get her because I want to do the same thing that Sheldon did. And having another cat doesn't help with my sinuses too, my allergies. So this will come in handy. <laughs> so everyone, I want y'all to meet Zazzles because she is just so zazzy. <laughs> That's how Sheldon did it. But yes, her name is Zazzles. We're going to name her Zazzles. So that has been our favorite for the month of February. We have a new cat. Uh, uh, this cat found us. And, you know, just a few items here for skincare and makeup. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching and thank you for meeting our new cat. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button so you can see more videos like this. And you all have a wonderful day. And we will see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>